That seems to have been the trick. You know, as this night wears on, this track seems to be coming to a number of drivers. Among them, the Royal Heat. Oh, oh, my goodness. Lopez is up on his roof. We were just talking about the rookie sliding on his roof. Caution is out. Oh, and a hard, hard hit for Rogelio Lopez, the rookie out of Mexico City. And look behind him. Matt Kovalec has had hard contact as well. And looking to see who's climbing out of that car right now. Angry with what's transpired. That's, uh, that's uh, Justin Lofton in the 66 car. Going over to see if Kovalec's all right. Going to help him out now and uh, just make sure his fellow competitor is all right. But that's Lofton 66, the blue and yellow car, and Kobaluk in the 40. And they had hard contact as well. We'll have to see who Lopez was racing with at that point. As his car now sits still, the 0-3 car. This My accident coming off of turn two, Mike. And he's moving around in the car, which is a very good sign. Indeed. As Lopez, did you see how far he slid on his roof? Yeah, and that in and of itself uh, may not have been the most dangerous part. The, the contact with the wall and any ensuing contact from other cars, that's probably more dangerous for Lopez, but upside down is not where you want to be in a race car. A wild, wild ride for Rogelio Lopez. And now we just want to make sure that his drivers are okay. The safety crew talking to Rogelio. We'll have to check again to see who he was racing with. We know he was in the front pack. It finally made his way up toward the front and passed a couple of cars. And then just coming off that corner, had contact, and there is Rogelio. Helping Great him out news. of the car. He has to be shaken up a little bit. Look at the oil on his helmet. There, there's been stuff flying around in that car, and he's got oil on his helmet. But he is standing and talking to the safety officials. Here it is. It is Johnny Borneman. And Rogelio looking for room to race. It's not there. Boy, they just ran out of room. And that, again, you know, Rogelio, we mentioned he is tied for the rookie. Look at Eric Holmes diving low. Duncan gets by. <sighs> Sparks and short flames in there. Now, where do Kobaluk and Lofton get into it? See, they've had contact together behind this incident in the 40 and the 66 car. Wow. Lopez was trying to move back to the high side, and Borneman was there. Borneman had made his car, had put his car in that spot. Here it is in real time. Scott Gaylord did a great job. He was right behind him. There's Lofton. You just got a glimpse of Lofton and Kobaluk. There's Borneman. Now, there was a hole there for Borneman's car, and he put it there. Lopez trying to work his way back to the top line. Just really turned probably too soon. Look at the sparks flying. What's amazing is after this ride, that car just turned right side up. That was the nice finish to it. Slow motion now. Boom. All right, now we're going to hold the shot here. And we'll watch just to the right of your screen. Here's Kobaluk down in the inside of Lofton. Everyone's trying to get woed up, and Kobaluk makes contact with Lofton as he's trying to move down to the inside to avoid the wrecking 0-3 of Rogelio Lopez. Well, we're under a red flag here at the California Speedway. Back with more of the relocate here 200 in just a moment.